Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, I'm going to be the purple player, General Brawler from the United States of America. I'm going to be hopping into another interesting, unique map, and we're going to be trying a progressive world dom game today. We'll see how, it, how we fare. Now, this is Conway Castle. And it has a lot of interesting bonuses on it. I will show you in a moment. But we're going to be playing World Domination Progressive Cards, which we rarely do uh, on this channel because it's a very lucky game mode. We have Alliances off, Fog off, Blizzards off, Portals off. Nothing funky. Just standard World Dom Progressive game on Conway Castle. And I'm the purple player in the third position. And we can look at the bonuses right now. So this map, usually the strongest bonus is Stalls. This plus five, it's a nice little couple point hold if there's blizzards this can be very very easy to hold for the plus five obviously everybody's gonna like the little outer bonuses east barbican and west barbican and then towers plus seven nobody's ever gonna get and maybe outer ward probably nobody gets either so i'm gonna see the skill level of my opponents see if people are gonna start going and trying very hard to get bonuses and i'm gonna try to play as smart as i can to oh i actually have a bonus opening on the left interesting <laughs> Maybe I make a bonus play. I mean, we're going to see if our opponents are noobs and want bonuses. Well, maybe I'm a noob and I want a bonus. Very fair point. The problem being, Pink is going to get six troops on the first turn and maybe make this an eight and come in here for the Ram Dingle. I don't like it. Hmm. I'm going to get three troops, right? He's going to four on to me? That makes that even less likely for me to get that bonus. Roll something else. Okay, he rolls red. <laughs> Why? He might bring this three in and he might go for this bonus. He does. All right, so green and pink, I think, will fight for this left bonus. I think I'm going to move up with the card and then fortify out. I will let them fight. I can also add one troop to the right side to try to hold that position. I could actually add one here. I, I kind of want to keep as many positions as possible as well because we are playing progressive. So maybe I make a two here. And then I will do this and I will go up and I'm going to move out of West Barbican because I think pink will add here and come in and then green's going to add and they're going to fight over this bonus which is just a plus two and uh, if you guys don't understand how progressive cards work we do use them when we play capitals the trade-ins are not the standard uh, four six eight and ten depending on your cards so you can't get screwed by dudes which is kind of cool you get a bunch of dude cards, you still get just as good of a trade as you would. Otherwise, the trades actually scale exponentially. They go, so they start at 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and then 15. And once they reach 15, they go up by 5 forever. So second set of trades are 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And then once people start getting 45, 50, 60, 80 troops in a, for one trade in, all of a sudden, somebody's sitting on a bunch of cards, and they only have 50 troops, and you can kill their 50 troops, take their cards, trade for 85 or something. Then that's that's where you get those chain kills in Progressive, which feel real rewarding, and it's a lot of fun to, to win those games and kill everybody. This is, uh, as I said, this is a very strong bonus. This is, uh, whew. I hope we can test this. Because as much as the card trade-ins are going to be very very powerful later and screw everybody over getting a plus five bonus is very strong yeah pink does exactly as i predicted and he does do the little sweeper he's going to take that bonus and probably stack against green and if he does put the five against green green might eight on five him interesting very important i you guys will notice I'm always trying to read what my opponents are going to do, and I, I have a pretty good guess on how they're thinking and what they're going to do, which if you can if you can master that, I guess it's probably not a masterable skill, but if you can get very good at reading what you think your opponents are going to do, you can kind of get out of their way. You can predict them. Like now Red has got all of his seven. He's got a seven here. I didn't even watch Red's turn, but I know this was not a seven. I think this was a three. So I think Red put all four of his troops here because he wants to full Ram Dingle for the East Barbican. And now I have seven troops in his way. This is a problem because I actually don't have a way out over here. I was concerned with getting out of this way. Now, does Green 8 on 5 or does he decide to concede that position and go for something else? Also, Red full suiciding or, or, or full stacking in here means there's no checks for Orange. Orange will get the 5 unguarded. 
Here we go. General Dew from Columbia with the Ram Dingle. Oh, baby, it's coming. No, he escapes. Okay, Pink gets the bonus. Okay. Uh, no, he's doing the reach around sweeper. Oh, I, I didn't. Okay, I didn't predict that. I thought he was eight on fiving. If anything, if he's gonna, four, no. Okay, no reach around sweeper. He's just escaping. Okie doke. My position now. I want to kind of get out of Red's way, but I also kind of want to have troops. Like, I'm gonna lose this one. Oops. My uh, my alerts for Twitch are still on. Obese rabbit with the follow. Thank you, sir. Um, I'm not actually streaming on Twitch right now. I'm just recording. You guys know I've started recording a lot more without the, uh, sorry, hold on. I'm recording a lot more often now without being on stream. Almost all or all of my videos going forward on the main channel. I'm going to say most videos because if I have a really banger game on stream, I will post it to the main channel. But pretty much all of my videos or the majority on the main channel are now going to be recorded off of Twitch. And they have been. Uh, if he hits that six, we're in some trouble. Uh, I'm hoping he lets me out. I've got no way to get out. He's just stacking here still. He's thinking about rolling me. He doesn't really have a good card elsewhere. He's going to... He's he's so tunnel visioned on this plus three that he's just going to lose this three stack to orange for free and give orange the plus five. If he put all of his troops in here instead... He would have put a 4 and a 3 in here. He would have a 10 stack right here to oranges, whatever this is. He could The 10 on 5 is also a 100% blitz roll. You could theoretically hit that and lose 1 or 2 troops. He's got a 7 left over and orange is like in, the, in shambles. Orange maybe quits and he gets the plus 5 bonus. Red had opportunities like that. He's added here and now he's not even taking a card. Okay. Orange is going to complete the bonus and take Red's three out, as predicted. Doesn't even lose a troop. Wow. Okay, I would do the shocked face, but I'm sure everybody else is watching. Can't believe Red stacks here and then doesn't even take a... Like, this guy is... Uh, he's not playing well. I will say that much. Our opponents, by the way, we've got Jonas from Germany. We've got General Diu. I think that's Colombia or Venezuela. One of them has stars across the top. I'm getting better, but I'm still not there. My flags, General Maul from the United States. I'm at least fortunate he didn't hit my six. We've got General Kurana from Netherlands and Christian from, I think, Austria. I think. He's going to throw on one out of this little uh, corner pocket. No, he's going to throw on one down here. I mean, if I'm pink, I'm rolling a four on one, not a three on one. Get my card. Hey, he heard me through the Nethers. Interesting. Interesting board state we have with uh, two bonuses held. I will not get a bonus on the right, which is fine. I just need to keep multiple positions. It is a progressive game. So if these players don't understand fully how to how to make kills and chain kills in progressive, I will be able to come back, even if they're getting five extra a turn. But Orange is going to start getting eight troops a turn, right? And maybe even nine if he's still on 12 territories. Oh, Blue's actually going to go for a bonus down here. He's going for Outer Ward, or... He is going for Outer Ward. Wow. So, he has to complete this. Which would mean he's butting heads with Orange, which is not going to work. Okay, good. So, Blue might get into a bit of a tiff with Orange, which means Orange will come out and hit him. But if Blue trades, he might break Orange's bonus. Slow Orange down, that's fine. Pink is looking to expand out the left side and probably swallow a good section of the map. It means he's less focused on these positions. I would like to start knocking out Pink's positions over here. Now I can't hit this one. This this is a little this is a castle map, right? So this is a wall that goes over. It doesn't connect to the one. It's very awkward pathing here, right? Like this this outer section is essentially a wall, and you can kind of come down into the courtyard or whatever this is here, inner ward. Okay, so I need to knock orange or pink away from me. Uh, I probably want to knock this three away. I do want to also leave red alone. In case red is here or back, I don't want to feel his pain. So we're going to perfect slide of the three, lose three troops. Unfortunate. That is how it rolls. I'm wondering if this four is uh, a threat to pink. I might lose this four stack. So maybe I should have moved it out one. But I also need, like, 
I have multiple things I want to do. I want to move this into the corner so I can hold this corner and knock blue out of this corner. I want to move this four away from pink. And I also had to get the hell away from red because I think he's a crazy person. Yeah, he's just going to roll all of this. Pink may take his five troops on the turn and break this bonus. We'll see. Red's on 18 troops in total. He is a card behind as well. Now, does he split and try to guard here? Yeah, two four stack guards. Pink could make a six on four if he wanted to. Now, orange gets his eight. Yep, it's time for me to just stay out of everybody's way while everybody bulldozes for bonuses. I had a better claim to the right bonus, but I wasn't playing to suicide red for the bonus. That wasn't my game plan. Maybe, I'm not saying that you can't get away with that. Maybe because I had seven troops in here to start, if I put all of my first three troops in, and I sat here with, and I fortified, and I was sitting here with a nine and a one, and then red makes a seven, and I, I kill a seven next turn or something. Like, maybe their world is, I should have knocked them out of this bonus and taken it. But I... I I don't like going to complete war over a bonus in a progressive world dom game. I think it's more important for me to have multiple positions so I'm not killable later, and then I can just beat them with, with card trade-ins later, right? I can think fast, I can deploy fast, I can make kill lines, I know how to do all that stuff later, and I can probably do that better than these players, so take advantage of them there, and don't, uh, don't suicide slam each other for a bonus, right? Which is... That's like the lowest, that's the lowest, what, common denominator of skill, or is that even a, is that even a term? Whatever. Whatever. We'll see. I'd like to knock pink out of here, but I am curious to see what blue does, because I know blue wants, it. it at least that looks like blue wants outer ward, right? This is like, you're trying to take this plus six. Good luck. Look how hard this bonus is for a six compared to stalls for five absolutely ridiculous like outer ward should be like a plus 10 or a plus nine or something just it should be massive he's gonna five on two he's gonna come up to the six he's like he's getting ready and when he trades he will go through this six to try to take the bonus and maybe even break i mean it, it, it's fine like do i hit this blue three to get even further from red or i need to move from pink i'm gonna move this over Pink didn't break red. I could 7 on 4 red and break him. It's a good chance to break, but it's not great. But if I'm not going to hit him with... like, I could have hit him with attacker's advantage with 100% blitz roll. I'm not going to hit him with an 80-something percent blitz roll for a break. I'm just going to let him hold, and I'm going to back up. And that might cost me. He might just make a 10 here and hit my 4 stack. I am also very weak on troops. I'm equal in troops with red. Look at the size of some of these other players. I am in the weakest position on the board, troops-wise. So I'm not saying I played this properly. Maybe maybe the better play would have been to just Suicide Slam Red and kill him and take the bonus. Right? Maybe it would have. But I, I would have lost my position on the left side. I had to escape over here, right? So I would not have this four. Uh, I would still have this two. But this would be a one and this would be a one. And somebody might have taken cards in these positions because they'd only be ones to hit. So like I might actually literally just be on the right side and nothing else in that scenario. Um... Let me just, I want to move out away from this guy. Do this. Let's start moving away from pink. All right. This is kind of all connected too, right? Like this, this four comes across the wall to the two, comes over the five. So like if somebody did try to kill me. Okay, he's guarding his bonus instead of hitting me, which I do like. When he was hovering this territory, I'm like, please don't. Please don't. Don't do it to me. Four on one down into, uh, I call it courtyard, but inner ward. I don't know. Okay. And then knocks the pink one out because he wants to bring his troops together. Bring the six out to the two. Or six, he can bring it out to this one. He's going to bring the three in. He just, he's consolidating everything into a single position. Red is completely here now because he's going to lose this one from blue or orange. Red is literal straight, like, Pop, 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 pop. Like, he's just a great kill. He's the easiest person to kill. And the downside is he's going to be a card behind. So when I want to actually trade, kill him, and then trade, he's going to be one card shorter than I want. <laughs> oh, it's sad days. Uh, okay, so no trade on four now. Hopefully I get one later. Do I have a plus two that's feasible for me to hold? No, I do not. We're going to chill. 
Red one's still here. Orange guarding with a 10. So if blue trades, he can make a 9. And then he'll also trade for 4, because it's the first trade in progressive. And this 6 would be a 13. And if it goes up 1, it'd be a 12. 12 on 10, if you wanted to try to take this bonus. Pink is now smacking a lot of stuff. Two red territories and a green, too. Is he going for towers? Pink's going hard. He's taking a lot of territory. He's either going for towers or maybe south wall. But, like, if he's going to be greedy like that, cool. Maybe I need to uh, run away further from him. Interesting. I like having this little two in the pocket. I'm tempted to go pop, pop, and sit in both pockets. <laughs> then you got to split more to get me. Oh, blue's going to go up to the one now. And then sit. Nope, he's going to take this one and guard it. He's really trying to get this bonus. Does he also go up? He doesn't want to stack beside the orange 10, right? Oh, here he does. I think orange just completely clobbers blue and blue quits. If I had to guess, I think orange clobbers blue, blue quits. Okay, and he also backs off. This is just such a losing play. Going for a bonus you're never going to get. Funny enough, blue still has one, two, three, four, five. Like, he's in six positions. Despite putting all of his troops here and doing this, he's all over the board in great position. Like, he had a good point for, for multiple positional play. Now green is hitting pink back on this side more than once to take territory. Is he going to run away with his five? No. he's Okay, so green and... I predict green and pink exchange a bunch of troops over here. In a very bunch of uh, in a bunch of poor decision making, so I'm going to go one here. I just want to be difficult to kill. One here, and one here, and I'm going to try to just knock out the blue one here, and then come back. Up. Okay, we got a dude trade. Perfect example of the dude trade's not going to hurt me because I'm going to get the same amount no matter what. But I don't get the plus two on any of these territories. So, red is going to start knocking out people from this bonus, because that would be funny. Orange 4. Blue 1. The orange 4 was what I wanted, wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> so, it looks like red is definitely trying to get another bonus. He's going for inner ward plus 4. Which I'm not in, so he has to hit this orange 2, orange 4, pink 2, green 2, and then he'll get it. But we're entering turn six in a moment, right? On turn eight is when the trades are going to be big and people are going to start swinging. And Orange is buffing these positions because he wants to hold them. I wonder if Orange knows how to play this. General Karana. So he got this bonus, but now he's also trying to maintain his exterior stacks. Look at this. Huh. So funny enough... Uh, a newer player looking at this would think Orange is his biggest threat because Orange has the most troops and the biggest bonus. And it's actually true in this state because I think Orange knows how to play these settings the best out of all my opponents. So I actually think Orange is my biggest threat. He's actually double my troops, funny enough. But, like, that's not a big deal at the moment because he can't kill me right now. Right? I'm kind of spread out and not near him. This four can't really get to me to have to do, like, some stuff. The seven... Like, I, I'm, I'm safe from orange at the moment, so it's good. Do pink and green exchange troops? Oh, I lose this two stack to pink. God damn it. He's actually going for towers. No, it's just not smart. It's very un unfortunate. Why do you have to not be a good player? <laughs> Can't you just... If he was slightly better and realized he's not getting towers. That's the other thing. Like, when you play these settings... It's not enough to like just play these kind of settings with a bunch of good players because you can you can know good players aren't going to do stuff like that. I have to try to read players on multiple different skill levels and we have to try to read what they might be going for. I thought he was going to trade troops with green and try to take the bottom half of the map, but he actually looks like he's going for towers, which is absolutely ridiculous and he's not going to hold that. The only way he holds that is if he's the one that wins the game and he happens to have all of them when he kills the last person or something. I'd like blue to move this out, because I actually want to move my six further away from red and bring these stacks together and start moving this way. Uh, he goes left, that's good. If he goes left uh, down and he's gonna bring this in. 
Here's the problem, though. If I come out with the six and bring my two in, I'm actually blocking this tower from pink. Like, if pink goes for towers, I lose this four stack. And I lose this six. And I lose this two. Like, I'm dead if he goes for tower. Oh, there we go. Now pink's got problems. Green's hitting him out of here. But pink gets the biggest trade. Good job, green. That's my boy. <laughs> what is happening? Okay. Trade my dudes. Uh, let me see. Take a five there. And I will move out. I'm not going to hit red. I'm going to leave red alone and completely back off. I want red to feel good with me. I have uh, two, yeah, two cavalry and uh, artillery. These are weird looking because it is a zombies map or some type of zombies map, I think. Which zombies are uh, are not actually good at maps with lots of corners because the zombies actually often attack and then go into a corner and get stuck. Right, because zombies move with their full stack. So as they move around the board, it's very easy for them to find a corner in here and then it just gets stuck. Corner, 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 corners everywhere, right? Yep, so red is going for this bonus. This is this is pretty fun. This no, 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 that's not part of your bonus. What do you that's not part of your bonus? Back off. Jesus, this is terrifying. Red's about to get the biggest trade also. Because he actually card skipped, it's funny. But orange, pink get trades, and then red's going to get a massive card trade. I do want to have a big stack ready to get him, though. I would like to kill red player. if I, Because he's all in one spot. So if I trade, kill the red player, trade again, I can kind of guard up and have a big, strong position on the right side. While orange is worrying about blue, and pink's worrying about green. So I actually think my, my route to winning is setting up for a red kill. And you might think that's crazy. Because red has all these troops, but uh, he's in one singular position. And if he uses this, we're equal in, in troops, but he's about to trade. He's about to drop on troops. And if he uses his trade to hit these orange stacks, orange, he might see that as a threat. Orange is signaling, hey, let me out. I want to get out if you want this bonus. He's tried to signal him. Or is he, he's hitting. He's like, I got to get out of here. Okay. That's perfect, because I think red trades and just knocks orange completely out of here. And that means red will have three cards and be weak after that. And then I will break the plus four. Maybe I break both. We'll see what it looks like. But definitely I'm going to uh, not let him hold after that. And then we're thinking far in the future. If red doesn't have a trade on three and I have a trade on four, maybe I trade kill him. We'll see. Oh, no. Oh, pink and green, baby. I mean, it's ha we knew it was coming. He's going to hit the 7, too. So maybe my play is actually to kill green. This 6 can make it to green really quick. Like, green's also in one spot, other than this this little spot here, which is a pop pop for me. But if, if green trades on 3, I think he full ram dingles pink, right? Orange is in such a spot. Look at 61 troops right now. Like, orange is in a very good spot. This is the thing, though. We're going to get to see if the person with the bonus that seems to have an okay-ish understanding of the settings can beat me with the lowest amount of troops. Well, not the lowest anymore. And no bonus. And, and a, a better understanding of the settings. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. My first game of the day, it's 9.30 in the morning. It's before my monster, dudes. We're playing before monster. Pre-monster today. He's putting the six in his face because blue is signaling he does still want this ridiculous plus six bonus. It's hilarious. Green doesn't have a trade on three. Oh, wow. I, okay, so I need to get a trade here. I need to get a dude or a cavalry or a wild. That's a lot of things I could get that would be great. This four is stuck. I could open this 11, but I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I'm going to hit that one and then back off. Uh, this 15 can actually come through into green too, so I'm going to do that. We'll hit this. And then back up. 
Yes, we have a trade on three. That's what we needed, right? Yes, okay. So red's gonna trade for 15, means the 20 trade is next. If blue trades for 20 and doesn't kill green and green doesn't have a trade, I can trade for 25, kill green and trade for 30. Red's also gonna be weak at the end of this, so maybe even chain it into another, oh, not if he gets dice like this. Okay, lose a lot on this eight. He doesn't slide or you could easily lose nine or 10. Perfect. Oh, Red's on 35. Like, look at the position. Red's done all this work, and he's got 35. He's got one troop more than me. And he's a troop behind me. And now he's trying to figure out, how do I hold these bonuses? I can pop, pop, break this one easy, right? Pop, pop. And then he's got the plus three still. If he had one more card, I would be able to kill him. So if I... I need green. If green doesn't trade, we do magic. If green doesn't trade, I'm going to come through kill green. And then I'm going to trade. Like, I'm going to trade, kill green, trade. And then I will kill red into another trade. And then I will hold so much of the board. And then blue, orange, and pink will just be over here. And, and orange is kind of, like, stuck. Like, this is 11's trap. This 10's trap. Oh, he's bringing it out. But it's still trapped from going to the right. This 20's kind of trapped behind blue. And blue may even trade on here and go in. Blue may just go into this trying to get this bonus. This is the thing. Orange might understand the settings and he might have a god bonus right now. But blue only wants outer reward. You can tell that's what he's aiming for. So if blue trades right now for 20 troops and he gets three more. He can make a 29 and he will hit the 20. It's possible. It's really possible. Oh, is pink trying to kill green? He doesn't have enough. Okay, green's going to survive to trade if he has a trade on four. And if he has a trade on four and doesn't use it, that's a big error. Because I'm coming swinging. 100%. I'm coming swinging. I like my troop positioning. Me trading and going off this six will be enough to kill green. And then that means the rest of me can go off this 14. Oh, unless blue does some stuff. 14. The, the problem with killing red is split, split, split. There's three splits in the in the red kill. Actually, yeah, because that comes through. And he lost, blue lost a three on one. And didn't trade. Does he have a card somewhere? With the seven he does. I actually like if the seven comes over because it kind of guards me. Actually, no, it guards green. Hit the green. Hit the green one. That makes it harder. I'll have to come off the 14 to kill green now. Crap. Oh, never mind. He's full guarding him. But he's also threatening orange, because he's mad at orange. Green trades for 20. Okay, that might go into pink. I have to pay attention here to my opportunities, right? Is pink killable? Uh, 14 comes through. Sneaks through the 6. No, I can't. I can't. Uh, well, I, I'd have to put everything on this 4. No, because this 3 is guarded. The blue 17 is guarding green, it's guarding me, and it's guarding pink. These are three little pockets, and it, he's got a kill guard on all of us. Did Blue secretly know how to play this entire time? No, no, no! Green, don't Donkey Kong me for the bonus. This south wall, don't Donkey Kong me for that, bro. Please. Okay, good. He lost two troops on that roll. Please don't hit my six. Don't be the guy that's that dumb. Oh my god! What? <gasps> Back off. Please. Back off. Because I don't want... Good. Perfect. So I, I could trade and kill red? What's the trade? 25. If I don't trade, what do I do? Do I live if I don't trade? I think I just trade and stay in the game, and that's the most important thing. So I could go off here, make a 42. It's because of the splits. I, I'd need a god roll on the 14, but I have to split into a bunch of threes. I think the kill on red's actually very unlikely. But maybe red doesn't... Oh, do I... If red doesn't have a trade, I can put him completely in the dumpster right now. Let's put him in the dumpster and set up to kill him next turn. Then I will hit this with the 100%. Good dice roll. Put it in here. I have a... Oh, I have a wild card too. If he doesn't have a trade on three, I kill him. Oh no, he's putting here. He's got a trade. No, he doesn't. He bought it! Yes. The second you touch this guy, he quits. 
whiner. That's a little baby move. That's bad, though, in the way that other people can maybe kill him. I was hoping he was going to retake in here. Maybe I should have... No, I can't come out. Maybe when I got a good roll on that, I should have came and finished this. The 34 to kill the rest. It's... Maybe I, some of you would have went for that kill, definitely. And I could definitely see why you would. I think playing it safer, though, guarantees me to live longer. I don't need to take the freak risks, right? I think I can kill him this turn anyways. Let him get that extra card. Six can start slow rolling the seven, too. See, so yeah, maybe make it a nine. Silly enough, maybe I, like, I should have... If I didn't think so long, I could have finished this bonus, which would have been funny. Okay, so I should have the red kill. Uh, blue's going to... Unless blue does something crazy, but his troops are all the way over here. Orange is getting knocked out by pink. Uh, my four might be short-lived, but at least it's there for now. All I have to do is live till later, and that's it, right? I live till later, I probably win. So I'm just doing my best to survive. That, I, that's why like, I could have went for that kill. If I fail, I probably die. So like, even if it's like 80% or 90% to get it, I think I'm I'm much higher percentage chance to win if I if I just don't. So blue trades and he's thinking. Is he Ram Dingle Pink? Because that'd be hilarious. No, he's going to go for the green kill. Oh, he trapped his stack. Okay, he just knocked green out of there and does nothing. Green takes a third card. And he's stacking here because orange. But orange is about to trade. Oh, man, it's about to get frisky. Green hits this three. It could be a problem for me. Because I need to kill this seven. Going to pink. Let's turn it into a game. This is uh, more interesting than I was expecting for this man. Okay, he's chilling. I've got an opportunity now. I get four because I have more than 12 territories. Nice. I'll try the 10 on seven. 85%. Nice. That was nice. Okay. Now we're going to slider to get the rest of this. Lose one on the four is great. Two on the five is great. Okay. I have red, right? He's got six troops. One, I can hit all these. Good. Nice, we get him. That triggers a trade. It also means I'll be on four troops at the end of my turn. He had no trade on four anyways. Great. Uh, no, no, I'm keeping that wild. Keeping my wild. And I will just stack here. And I will stack here with a big boy. 51 stack and a, and a, and a trade coming up. We're at 90 troops with four cards. We are in the driver's seat right now, boys. Now, Orange has a trade. He's got 40. Does he go into blue? Because blue is very threatening to him. Or does he go for something else? If I'm orange, I'm probably looking at kill lines on pink. I would have been looking at them already. Kill pink into green. Uh, does, so does he have pink? He doesn't have the six. So I would have I would have looked for kill lines of pink into green. He could also go green, I guess, into pink. He's going to kill green. Okay, 12 on the 23 is real good. Yeah, because green would still trigger him a trade. If he screws it up, though, pink's going to be in a dominating position. I hope he doesn't go into me after this, though. It's a very tricky pathing map. Four on the 10. I was going to say well played. So that gives him 30 seconds more on his timer. He gets another trade. He's going to put it all here. What are the trades? Ooh, they're daddy time. 45. That was a good kill. So, yeah, he stacks against blue. That'd be lovely. Oh, yes. He can't kill blue right now. I can trade and I need to go after anybody that has four or more cards. He's going to run into me now. Stops. Good. Very happy with that. As I said, I think orange is the most understanding of the settings, more so than the other players. So I am most fearful of him. Now, if blue does trade on three i actually think that's good for me because i think he will hit orange if he trades on three and i think it's it's important for me to probably even just kill orange 
And I also, okay, so say blue doesn't trade on three. He's going to have four cards. Maybe I trade kill blue trade. That's probably even better for me. Can, can I can get to this too. I can get to this one. I can get to the rest of them. Kill blue, trade, and then what? Unless he's going to guard the, the one. Yeah, back off. Please back off. Nice. And pink's got his stacks trapped, right? In awkward ways. Well, not really. Just the 22, I guess. 41s can get out. But he's slow. I think orange is the biggest threat. So if blue trades and hits orange, I like it. If blue doesn't trade, I kill him. I like that too. Tries the three on one. Oh man, I, if he didn't trade and hit orange, I would I would be so happy. That would be hilarious. Okay, kill blue. Need to make this a seven. Pop, pop. Yeah, okay. Now they're going to see some speed, which is a problem. Fifty-two. That's not good. Fifty-two on a fifty-seven is not a good roll. It's an average-ish. But I will be huge now, which is good. I'm going to trade the triple these, so I can more likely to get one trade on three going forward. Now I own a lot of the board, which is good. Do I try to hit orange preemptively, or wait? go on to my 9, 101 stack. I don't have a trade on 3. I'm in a really good position with my 101, though. I can't, like, if pink... Oh, orange does have a trade on 3. That's a problem. If pink doesn't have a trade on 3, I can probably kill him off my stack, right? Well, this 3 is a problem. We'll see what orange does. He's going to hit me a bunch. So, oh, he's going for the pink kill. Oh, that's not a bad play either, but he could screw this up. It pathing's awkward. Wait, 97 troops he's got to kill with an 83. He doesn't have it. He's going to fail. But he thinks he's got it. He thinks he's got it, but he's going to fail. <laughs> now I just need Pink not to have a trade. He's splitting, but that's not... You can't... I wish he... he Pink's laughing at him. That's right, Christian. You tell General Karana that he made an oopsie. I can get him. I can get him. Don't trade, don't trade, don't trade. I'm not going to signal. I'm not going to do nothing. Don't trade. If he has no trade, he's dead. I I have a straight, yeah, okay, I have a straight line on him. Good game. That's a good game. Uh, even if he doesn't attack, even if he doesn't hit orange, even if he full suicides into me, I've got him. He's dead. Let's just uh, start cleaning up the board. Yeah, pink dies now. Trigger a trade. Time to start doing some damage to the orange boy. Oh yeah, I've got a trade next turn too. It's just beautiful. 71 on 65 is 100%. Okay, let's one true. Oh, we swing the 69 at him. Ooh! Not a good dice roll, but that's fine. Sorry, brother. Oh no, I screwed up. <laughs> that's fine. A little bit of pathing mistakes, but it's all good. It's not the end of the world. Now we're going to do what? 
Bring the 48 to the 3. Be able to follow whatever his 57 does. I have a trade next turn. Good game. Good game. That's what I said. You just stick, be unkillable, and then just make sure you do your proper pathing and your calculations to get your kills. That is the essential skills required for a World Dawn progressive game on any map. Uh, he's trying to do stuff, but uh, I mean, I'm going to trade, which goes down to two cards, and then get a third card at the end of my turn. So even if I trade and can't kill him, I will still have three cards to his two cards and own the whole board. <laughs> it is locked in. We're going to take this one. Whew, by the way, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you enjoy Risk stuff. Normally, I'm playing uh, Capitals with Progressive or World Dawn with Fixed. But I thought I'd change it up a bit today, show you guys a cool little map, play a little bit of World Dawn Progressive. I'm recording this two days after winning the World Championship title, so a little bit of uh, good feelings towards World Dawn Progressive at the moment. So, uh, yeah, if you guys would want to stick around, I would appreciate it. If, if not, that's cool. I also have a second channel for my longer games. You're more than welcome to check those out, check that out if you want. It's in the description below. I'm not even going to need the slider for this because it is an overwhelming number of troops. Although I did screw up because I didn't put anything here. <laughs> no slider required. You trying to break my bonuses? It's game. It is game! I also have a trade on three anyways. Not that I need a trade on three. I, I have enough to kill him. Trades be darned. Good game. Yeah, yeah, he's not even going to try. I'm going to trade and give you the old 69. Into the dab. Into the ram. Oh, those dice! <laughs> Ba-boom! Yeah, thank you guys for joining until the end of the video. I appreciate it. I do release Risk every single day on this channel, seven days a week. I edit it, cut down the slow moments, speed up the stuff that's uh, dead air, slow moments, etc. We had three beginners, a novice, and an intermediate. So the biggest threat actually was blue, but it seemed like Orange had the best idea on how to play it. So maybe he's on a secondary account or uh, he's just having some bad luck in ranked recently. If you play World Dawn Progressive, it's very easy to lose the games because they are very luck-based with the cards. Anyways... I will uh, more risk above my head if you guys have more time today, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.